Good afternoon. Today is the 9th of June and it's time for another very vague vlog. We're in the cross area of Winchester today because it's uh, quite a nice place but also they have a two hour free parking bay which is about five minutes from the centre of Winchester on foot so I often use that when I'm coming here and today I've been um, investigating to see if there's been any posts for uh, my mother's business because the uh, mailbox is in the centre of Winchester and I thought I'd uh, take another opportunity to do one another one of these very vague vlogs and give you a bit of more I don't know varied um, scenery <laughs> on the way back to Eastley so um, the main topic of today's conversation, shall we say, although it's really a dialogue, not a conversation, will be the fact that, oh, it's my old boarding house, just there. Literally up behind that truck is where I spent five years at boarding school. Anyway, um, main topic of conversation today is going to be um, what the state of affairs is with regards uh, replacement of the SEAT that I'm in today. We might talk a bit about what we're going to do with Rover 45 that you saw on the channel yesterday. And uh, then we're going to get into talking about whether or not we should have a social event for the channel. I tried one of these uh, about seven months ago and it wasn't very successful actually, so uh, we'll have to see if that is a possibility for the future obviously at the moment it would be a bit difficult because we couldn't have a gathering like that anyway it's against the government rules even if you socially distance for two meters gathering could only be a maximum of six people so it doesn't matter anyway but that's just maybe something for the future so the thing we did yesterday my lady wife and I we went out to a dealership and we test drove a type of car that we were thinking of possibly replacing Toledo with. And um, the dealership experience is actually quite good. They didn't have the exact engine and gearbox for us to drive, but they had a similar car from the same range that had that engine and gearbox in it. So we drove both um, particular car and also a different type of car with their same engine and gearbox in it that we had selected. The experience, although allowed us to rule the car out, we just decided that the car is a bit too basic um, and um, just felt a bit kind of less of something we'd like to have rather than um, on the say This is a lovely car, you see it a lot on the channel and it's got all sorts of nice features in it like these part leather seats and full LED headlamps and you know some nice materials actually. This just felt too stripped out really for us to justify spending a lot of money over four years to buy one. The model has been replaced quite soon so it could be that the new model might be a good one for us but I don't know. So that's, uh, that's one one less to go. Um, I won't tell you what model of car it is. What we could talk about instead is uh, the Rover 45, which you absolutely love, and so do I. I think I've pointed out the things which um, the car's in for work, for with Mr. Coleman and his place in Coventry this week, and uh, you know that will be. That'll be fine. I'm sure he'll have it ready for us by the weekend when we intend to go and pick it up. The car will be staying for us for some time. It's not been bought for a challenge or anything like that. It's been bought to replace the Astra Twin Top that we had. Ooh, I'm sorry about the focus. I don't know what happened. I have to watch myself for this roundabout because people just don't signal roundabouts anymore. I don't know why. It's all very peculiar. Strange. Anyway, um, 
once uh, Saturday comes, when we're supposed to be going to, to pick the car up, um, we'll be going up in this one and then my lady wife will drive this one back to Eastley as well. Once um, once we've got that back, it'll be uh, I think a nice thing for you to sort of see. I do apologise to this autofocus going in and out. I don't know what is going on today. Um, it's not normally as bad as this. Not much I could do about it because I'm currently driving. Yes, yeah, so there will be a full episode of Two Jacket Reviews on the Rover 45. I have had one before. It was a 19, sorry, a 2004 1.4 Club SE hatchback with a, a, a manual gearbox. Oh my gosh, what a, what's going on on the road today? He just put his signal on when he, he didn't even check to see if I was there. Dear, dear. Honestly. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so expect full episode two jacket reviews um, on the Rover 45. And uh, to see the car on the channel for Sunday to come. I've already had two other channels already wanting to film the car. And we haven't even got it home. Uh, back to Love's Interest in Town. And I know that many of you absolutely love it. Um, I can put so much more I can say. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. I'm so glad to have um, a car like that back in the house salt. Um, it's fabulous really. Um, what an absolute pleasure. Well Lady was looking forward to driving it as well, which I'm sure she'll be doing quite soon. With regard to what I was uh, mentioning earlier, um, the social event that we are possibly going to be doing will be in collaboration with the Cars You Don't See Anymore Facebook group. That is a uh, very good group of people who like to see uh, sort of, I suppose, more ordinary cars that you just don't see on the roads very much anymore. Stuff like, I don't know, Nissan Primera Estates from 1993, or uh, Renault McGann Classic Saloons, stuff like that. You know, it's very, very much kind of, um, stuff which you just don't see on the roads much anymore and to be honest uh, Rover 45 V6 because of the just 100 or so remaining it's not a car you see very much anymore either the group's got over 50,000 members now well over and the social event we think will take place in the Peak District possibly Lady Bar Reservoir, but we can't put a date in the diary for that at the moment, that's not going to work. It's just uh, it's just too early to, to kind of have all restrictions lifted. Obviously hotels, pubs, restaurants are not open, so we can't plan anything like that. But what I'm more interested in at the moment is expressions of, of saying, you know, is that something you'd like to come along and be part of? You don't have to bring a car that um, is it anywhere related to the channel? You don't have to do that. Obviously, I will probably bring the Rover because, well, you know, um, I like it, so we probably bring that. But you can bring anything you want. Um, it should be a lot of fun if we can get that organised. Um, we've been trying to do it for some time, actually. We were going to have it in May, and then, of course, everything everything hit. It was back in March, we originally tried to plan it, so we've been waiting ourselves for a while. Obviously other channels will be invited, uh, Mr. Coleman, Rocket Mechanic, Mr. Richard Fear is driving, and you know some others who you probably be familiar with will be invited to come along as well, if they wish to do so. Uh, we'll have to see if that is possible. So here we are, this is the opposite journey from what we normally do, we don't normally go this way in the very vague vlogs, but this is the other other way down the slip road. And we're now in Eastleigh. So yeah, still a bit undecided as to how we're going to replace the set. This is such a good car, this car. It's really, really, really nice. Um, even Mr. Coleman, who's 
really not much of a Volkswagen Greek product fan. He really doesn't like these cars very much. He actually said to me the other day that this would make a very good car for someone, and it will, um, when we choose to get rid of it. We've got other choices of cars to look at uh, as well, depending on you know what the deals are. And also, we do have the opportunity to extend the finance in this car a little bit longer, if we want to do that, that is also a possibility. But for now, really, uh, we're just waiting to uh, pick the road up at the weekend. You'll see an episode of No Budget Reviews that was filmed a few days ago as well tomorrow. Followed by a car walk around that I filmed on the same day. Two different ones, of course. And then, probably on Friday, we'll talk about the top 10 best-selling cars of May 2020. Bit of a bit, bit of a bit of a you know, a more optimistic picture than in April 2020 and, you know, things probably will never, never be that bad again for some time to come. But yes, I do hope you enjoy all of what's coming up on the channel. Thank you ever so much once again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Don't forget to like this video and to leave a comment below. I've got a Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Lloyd Vehicle Consulting, and also Instagram, instagram.com forward slash Lloyd underscore vehicle underscore consulting. Just gonna find a little safe place to pull up and turn the camera off. I'll do that just nicely. Thank you.